Brother you. Yeah? Who'd have thought we'd be meeting in a cow shed? Yeah, all thanks to the CCP. Yes, it is. You know, at first, I thought following my pastor into the Three Self Church was a great way to have it all. I'd gain peace of mind and God's blessings. The sound of our church as it came crashing to the ground was the sound of our dream being smashed to bits. Now I understand that all the years we prayed for the CCP were in vain. The CCP's an evil demon, and it will never repent. Mm. Yes. God will curse and destroy the CCP. Because it resists God. But we followed our pastors and our elders in praying for it. Isn't this opposing and going against God? This gravely offends God's disposition. We all have sinned against the Lord, so we need to reflect, to confess and repent. Mm. That you've gained this understanding turns a bad situation good. Thanks be to Thanks. the hey, Lord. Hey, Brother Young. Oh, you're here. Let's all right, go. Let's Great. go up to the loft. Brother Yu, why do you think the pastors and the elders constrain us and have us pray for the CCP? Can't they see the demonic essence of the CCP? Right. They've believed for so long. Can they really not see it? Right. right. That's actually easy to answer. The pastors and elders ask you to pray for the CCP simply because they are timid and fearful. They wish to please Satan and survive as cowards. They believe that praying this way will keep them safe, that they won't be arrested, and that they'll receive extra privileges. Can you recall how Satan tempted the Lord Jesus by pointing to the wealth of all the nations? All these things will I give you if you will fall down and worship me, said Satan. That's right. Right. Yes. Satan's been doing this since ancient times, and today it still uses wealth to seduce believers into relying on it. And it's how pastors and elders lead people into the same. We're being led by the blind. They ally with the government, side with satanic power, and are enemies of God. The path they walk is the same path as the Pharisees in Judaism. Right. That really is the case. They crave life and fear death. They sold out the Lord. And they want to sell you out to Satan's domain. So they try to keep you from accepting God's work of the last days. See it? What's the problem? They're betraying the Lord. That's right. That's right. Not just betraying the Lord and relying on Satan. They're denying others the kingdom of heaven. This is this really, is really serious, 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 isn't it? Us. What does the Lord Jesus say about this? Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither go in yourselves, neither suffer you them that are entering to go in. And the Lord Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you compass sea and land to make one proselyte. And, and when, when he is made, made you, you make, make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Yes. Now let's look at what Almighty God says. All right. Almighty God says, Just look at the leaders of every denomination. They are all arrogant and self-righteous, and they interpret the Bible out of context and according to their own imagination. They all rely on gifts and erudition to do their work. If they were incapable of preaching anything, would those people follow them? They do, after all, possess some knowledge and can preach on some doctrine, or know how to win over others and how to use some artifices. They use these to bring people before themselves and deceive them. Nominally, those people believe in God, but in reality they follow their leaders. If they encounter someone preaching the true way, some of them say, we have to consult our leader about our faith. Their faith has to go through a human being. Is that not a problem? What have those leaders become then? Have they not become Pharisees, false shepherds, antichrists, and stumbling blocks to people's acceptance of the true way? Brother Chen, read yes. this passage. All right. Those who read the Bible in grand churches recite the Bible every day. Yet not one understands the purpose of God's work. Not one is able to know God. Moreover, not one is in accord with the heart of God. 
They are all worthless, vile men, each standing on high to teach God. Though they brandish the name of God, they willfully oppose him. All such men are stumbling blocks that impede the path of those who seek God. Though they are of robust flesh, how are their followers to know that they are antichrists who lead man in opposition to God? That's exactly right, yes. Through what's shown in Almighty God's words, we can see that the pastors and elders' actions are no different than the Pharisees in Judaism. They're exactly that's right. the that's same. Right. They're the same. Yes, that's right. As believers in God, we must be sure that Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. Amen. Amen. We can never follow the pastors and elders in betraying mm, the Lord. That's right. Yeah. For many years, they have deceived you all and had you pray for the powers that be. The result? You've fallen into darkness. Yes, that's right. Look that's right. Deeply they've they've harmed us. That's right. Today, the Holy Spirit's expressed the words, He shall speak to churches, yet they still prevent you from investigating the true way. So therefore, aren't the pastors and elders obstacles on your path to the kingdom of heaven? Yes, that's correct. They are. Brother Yu, you really have insight into the pastors and elders. The pastors and elders are false shepherds who resist God. Yes. When they led us to the Three Self Church and to pray for the CCP, we all felt that it was wrong. Yes. But what did they say? That they were God's servants established by God and to not obey them was disobeying the Lord. That's just what they, they did. did. So we were constrained. The result? We followed the pastors and the elders in deciding with Satan. We have all followed them for more than 20 years but we've gained nothing. That's, That's right. right. They truly have ruined us all. Now, I clearly see that they led us down the path of resisting and betraying God. Exactly. If we follow them, we won't enter the kingdom of heaven, but we will go to hell and be punished. The pastors yes. and elders yes. really hurt They're us. They're utterly evil. Mm -hmm. The pastors and elders are loathsome. Rather than guiding us all to practice the way of the Lord, they lead us to relying on a satanic power and betraying the Lord. That's right. Exactly. That's right. And they deceived us by saying we were just being wise because with the three self church, we would still gain the Lord's approval. As long as we repented, acknowledge the Lord's name, when he returns, we'd enter the kingdom of heaven. They're so deceptive. It seems like everything the pastors and elders said were just lies to deceive us. That's, yes, that's exactly. right. They put us in bondage under the satanic CCP. They're nothing more than Satan's accomplices. Exactly. Absolutely. We all should forsake these pastors and elders. Amen. You're so right. What we need to do is kick away these obstacles. Yes. We should never again accept their constraints. Yes. yes. Absolutely. If we follow them, we will end up in hell. Right. They'd ask us to obey the CCP and to pray for the government, to keep us constrained by the three self church and under Satan's domain. So we'd give them offerings and provide for That's them. That's precisely their goal. Every day they enjoy our offerings to God, then turn around and stop us from reading Almighty God's words and investigating the true way. <sighs> They're so evil. They do this to keep us all trapped in the Three Self Church. That's just what they want. They're despicable. Yes. They're no different from the CCP. They're simply devils who resist God. They're completely ruthless. Yes. yes. We must not just spurn the CCP. We need to reject pastors and elders too to escape the three self church. Yes, yes. yes. Exactly. yes. Right. we must seek truth and accept God's salvation in the last days. That's the only way we can escape Satan's domain. Thanks, Thanks to right. the Lord. That's At last, exactly we've all been Thanks to God. Way. I'm so glad we're finally. We should have sought Almighty God's work in the, the last way. days long That's ago. Right. Today's That's an right. opportunity the Lord provided. We can't afford to miss yes. it. That's right. That's right. Lord. We could be the Lord. Brother Zhang. Yes. Can you tell us about the work of Almighty God within the last days? Please yes. Tell us, tell us about, about it. it. All right. We know that when the Lord Jesus preached, he said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now the Lord Jesus has returned at last. He is the incarnate Almighty God, who has appeared to work, speak new words, and do judgment work beginning with God's house. This fulfills the Lord Jesus' prophecy, I come quickly. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That, that where, where I am, there, there you may be also. also. Amen. Amen. And it fulfills this prophecy in Revelation. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. 
The Holy Spirit's words are undoubtedly the words of God. When God comes incarnate as the Son of Man to speak, it's the Holy Spirit speaking to the churches. Those who believe in Almighty God have all turned to Him because they've heard God's voice. Oh, ah, so that's, that's what, what it is. Then we should read Almighty God's words right away. Yes, definitely. Everyone, here are some pictures from the Church of Almighty God's website. Sister Lee, hand me the computer. Let's get a good look at this today. Yes, we should. Look at this. These are all gospel films. So many videos. Yes. And crosstalk. And comedy skits. And musicals. There's so much there. Right. It's wonderful. <laughs> Such variety. Right now, the words of Almighty God are available on the internet. Available to people of all nations to witness Almighty God's appearance and work. More and more people are reading Almighty God's words and are determining that it's the truth, that it's the voice of God, and that Almighty God's the returned Lord Jesus. So more people are turning to Almighty God. Yes, that's Almighty great. God's gospel has spread overseas. Yes. Yes. That which comes from God thrives. Amen. Amen. This fulfills the prophecy in the Bible. For as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even to the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Amen. It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Jehovah's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and, and all nations, nations shall flow to it. it. Amen. Hey, Brother Jean, show us one of the church videos. Yes. All right, here's a video of readings of Almighty God's words. Great. great. <laughs> That's great. Let's get a good look at it. Throughout the universe, I am doing my work. And in the east, thunderous crashes issue forth endlessly, shaking all nations and denominations. It is my voice that has led all men into the present. I shall cause all men to be conquered by my voice, to fall into this stream, and submit before me for I have long since reclaimed my glory from all the earth and issued it forth anew in the east. Who does not long to see my glory? Who does not anxiously await my return? Who does not thirst for my reappearance? Who does not pine for my loveliness? Who would not come to the light? Who would not look upon the richness of Canaan? Who does not long for the return of the Redeemer? Who does not adore the great Almighty? My voice shall spread throughout the earth. I wish, facing my chosen people, to speak more words to them. Like the mighty thunders that shake the mountains and rivers, I speak my words to the whole universe and to mankind. Hence, the words in my mouth have become man's treasure, and all men cherish my words. The lightning flashes from the east all the way to the west. My words are such that man is loath to give them up and at the same time finds them unfathomable, but rejoices in them all the more. Like a newborn infant, all men are glad and joyful, celebrating my coming. By means of my voice, I shall bring all men before me. Thenceforth, I shall formally enter into the race of men, so that they will come to worship me with the glory that I radiate and the words in my mouth. I shall make it such that all men come before me and see that the lightning flashes from the east and that I have also descended onto the Mount of Olives of the east. They will see that I have already long been on earth, no longer as the son of the Jews, but as the lightning of the east for I have long since been resurrected and have departed from mankind's midst and then reappeared with glory among men. 
I am he who was worshipped countless ages before now. And I am also the infant forsaken by the Israelites countless ages before now. Moreover, I am the all-glorious almighty God of the present age. Let all come before my throne and see my glorious countenance, hear my voice, and look upon my deeds. This is the entirety of my will. It is the end and the climax of my plan, as well as the purpose of my management. Let every nation worship me, every tongue acknowledge me, every man repose his faith in me, and every people be subject unto me. Amen. These words really are the voice of God. Yes. Yes. God's words have authority and power. No mm. mere human could speak these words. Yes, yes. Really? Mm -hmm. it's the voice it of God. Is. Indeed. Indeed. Let's read two more passages of God's word. All, All right. right. Almighty God says, When Jesus came into the world of man, he brought the age of grace and ended the age of law. During the last days, God once more became flesh. And when he became flesh this time, he ended the age of grace and brought the age of kingdom. All those who accept the second incarnation of God will be led into the age of kingdom and be able to personally accept the guidance of God. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Though Jesus did much work among man, he only completed the redemption of all mankind and became man's sin offering and did not rid man of all his corrupt disposition. Fully saving man from the influence of Satan not only required Jesus to take on the sins of man as the sin offering, but also required God to do greater work, to completely rid man of his disposition which has been corrupted by Satan. And so, after man was forgiven his sins, God has returned to the flesh to lead man into the new age and begun the work of chastisement and judgment. And this work has brought man into a higher realm. All those who submit under his dominion shall enjoy higher truth and receive greater blessings. They shall truly live in the light and shall gain the truth, the way, and the life. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Brother Yu, yes. I'll read next. Okay. Christ of the last days brings life and brings the enduring and everlasting way of truth. This truth is the path through which man shall gain life and the only path by which man shall know God and be approved by God. If you do not seek the way of life provided by Christ of the last days, then you shall never gain the approval of Jesus and shall never be qualified to enter the gate of the kingdom of heaven, for you are both a puppet and prisoner of history. Christ is man's gateway to the kingdom during the last days, which none may bypass. None may be perfected by God except through Christ. You believe in God, and so you must accept his words and obey his way. You must not just think of gaining blessings without receiving the truth or accepting the provision of life. Christ comes during the last days so that all those who truly believe in him may be provided with life. His work is for the sake of concluding the old age and entering the new one and is the path that must be taken by all those who would enter the new age. Thanks, Thanks to God. God. Amen. Amen. At last I understand. Through belief in the Lord, our sins are forgiven, but that doesn't mean we can enter the kingdom of heaven. That's right. right. That's right. First, our dispositions must be purified, and we must gain the truth as right. light. Only through Almighty God's work in the last days might we be purified and enter the kingdom of Amen. heaven. Yes. Amen. Thanks to God. <sighs> Thanks to God. That you can have such understanding after hearing Almighty God's words is truly wonderful. Thank the Lord for guiding us. This is what results from God's sheep hearing his voice. Amen. God's enlightening us. Indeed. So now we all understand 
that during the age of grace, the Lord Jesus just did redemption work, not his work of judgment and purification in the last days. Yes. The Lord Jesus only forgave our sins. He hadn't yet resolved our sinful natures. Right. right. The Lord Jesus had prophesied that he'd come again. But what is the work he will do when he returns? Will it be to rapture all believers to the sky to reunite with him? Isn't it? No. When the Lord Jesus returns, he'll do the work of judgment beginning with God's house. Judgment? Yes. He will lift those who accepted the Lord Jesus' redemption before God's throne, do the judgment and purification work, then bring them into God's kingdom. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Those who yes. hear God's voice and are lifted before God's throne will dine at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Thank those the Those who Lord. accept Almighty God, who experience judgment in God's words, whose dispositions are purified and who are made overcomers by God, are who will truly be lifted up into the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Thanks to God. Such people will gain God's approval and blessings and a beautiful destination. <gasps> Amen. That's great. They are blessed. That's yes. my hope. Yeah. On the other hand, those who resist and won't accept Almighty God are the tares revealed by God's work in the last days. They are the servants of evil and antichrists who resist God, and so they will all be punished and destroyed in the great disaster. These two are the different endings of the wise virgins and the foolish virgins. Then we must be wise virgins. Yes. Truly, thanks be to God, that you've been able to awaken and accept Almighty God's work means you are all wise virgins who have been lifted before God's throne so as to dine at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Thanks, Thanks to God. God. In this, hasn't every one of us been blessed by God? Yes, yes. yes. Thanks Thanks God. God. Thanks God. Thanks I never thought we'd dine at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Yes, this really is God's mercy. We are all truly blessed. We are. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks to God. God. Yes, brother you, you've not believed in Almighty God long. Yet you understand much truth. I admire you for that. Yes. Mm. Thanks to God. I've been in a three-self church for many years and have only gained rote doctrine with no understanding of truth. I'm truly so far behind you. Right. 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 I must flee the three-self church for Almighty God and follow God's footsteps. Amen. 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 Thanks, Amen. Thanks, be thanks, to God. thanks to God. Thanks be to the Lord. He hasn't abandoned yes. us. Yes. We were all misled by the pastors and elders and controlled by Satan. We lost our testimony. Right. right. It took the demise of our church, of our place of worship, for us to finally see. Right. right. If God hadn't moved these brothers to fellowship with us on Almighty God's work in the last days, we would still be in the dark without a way out. That's, That's right. right. But today, God has truly saved us and helped us Amen. escape Satan. Now we all finally have hope of salvation. Thanks to God. Man. Thanks to God. It's a good thing our church was torn down. Otherwise, we'd be doomed and not know it. Yes. We were such ignorant fools. And today, we've had the good fortune to hear the words of Almighty God. Amen. This absolutely is the voice of God. Yes. And thanks to Almighty God. Amen. We can't miss this final opportunity. Amen. 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 Thanks to God. Amen. Thanks to God. We can't miss this final opportunity. It's a good thing our place of worship was destroyed. Yes. Without the fall of our church, we might never have had the chance to repent. Yes. Thanks be to Almighty God for saving us from Satan's clutches. Amen. Amen. Thanks we to can't Almighty miss this God. Opportunity. Thanks to Almighty God.